I don't know where that came from. Ooh, deserve it all. Yeah, yeah, let's start right here, buddy. In the middle, please. Yeah, that looks great. And right beside him, please. And Will and Anthony yeah. together. Please. And starting on your left, please. Thank you so much. Right next to him, right here. And the one with the Academy Suite over here. And then right next to him. <laughs> 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 I like hands on the hips, actually. Okay. Well, it's a couple people. One, his name his name is Jim Barnhill. He lived to be 99 years old. He just passed away a couple months ago. And I was going down a path that was not going to be creative at all. It's going to be somebody's bad attorney. <laughs> I was going to lose a lot of cases. Um, and he said, no, try this direction. And I did. Um, and he saw something in me that I didn't see my, in myself. Uh, a woman named Miss um, Regina Turner, who took me to my first play. We went in a car. A bunch of us got in a station wagon. There used to be things called station wagons. And we drove from Mississippi to New York City, and I saw my first play, which was Fences, that starred Courtney B. Vance. And I ended up, years later, playing his wife. And I also, I also saw Sankofa, so her and then uh, Miss Geneva Patterson, my, my uh, elementary school librarian, and um, my mother, my mother who showed me, the first person who showed me that you can do things and not give up about what anybody thinks about you. Spin a little bit toward this way. There you go. Perfect. It was supposed to be studying law uh, at the university in Belfast, Queen's University. But it turns out I was kind of majoring in snooker and poker. And uh, I, I was very fortunate there was a man called uh, Desmond Marinan there. And he had been at school with me. He was a senior. And he was now a, a law lecturer. And he suggested that I transfer to study English and drama because I think he saw something in me that had something. Though you don't know yourself, you really don't. And at that time, then we applied. Uh, to, I applied to go to a, a, a proper theatre school because there were none in Ireland, and that's what took me off the island of Ireland for the first time, and into London. I went to theatre school there. So it changed your life forever. It did, it, and uh, it was it was a good time. It was 1973. And uh, the troubles had been going on for three years, and it was getting um, the, just the ma malevolence that was around, and it was uh, very violent, very dangerous. And uh, at the same time, you didn't feel, want to abandon people and family, but at the same time, for a young man at that time, it was kind of healthy to get out and just see the wider world a bit and not be locked and entrenched into that kind of uh, narrowness that, that was happening at the time. So I do believe I was very, very fortunate. Yeah, I think about, of course, Pedro, because he he called me the first time when I was around 19, 18. We have such a long relationship, and I hope we do much more together. Also, I think about Fernando Trueba and Vigas Luna, the first uh, two directors who gave me an opportunity uh, to get a um, big character in a film. And also my parents for not invalidate, invalidating me when I said, I, I want to be an actress and for just allowing me to, to try. And Cody, when did you get the chance to raise your That's when I was great. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Cody, And when did the Academy straight ahead over here? There's obviously no beating the real one, my, my dad, uh, he's the one who got me into the industry, 
and basically taught me everything I know in terms of my foundation and how I approach character development and all that good stuff. Um, and then I would say Eric Banner, who played my father on my first independent movie that I did, he he went out of his way to kind of take me under his wing and help me seek out representation here in the States because he believed I was worth it. So, I mean, I'm, I'm in debt to him in that sense. Um, and then after that, the first job I got here in the States was uh, The Road with Viggo Mortensen. And I would have to say in the same fashion that Viggo serves as my professional blueprint for over half of my career. And... Um, Every day working on the road, I got a crash course in, in how to work with integrity and conviction and everything it takes to, um, I guess, stay successful in this industry, but also remain grounded and to always remember where you came from. And um, yeah, 